terrible aftermath of the worst air disaster in history. In a Brooklyn street lies the shattered wreckage of a jet transport which collided with another airliner in murky New York skies. The jet plummeted into a brownstone residential section, killing an estimated seven persons on the ground, as well as 84 passengers and the crew. The impact area was a shambles of shattered tenements and business shops. Ten apartment buildings were set afire, and a borough-wide alarm sounded. Both planes were stacked up in landing patterns, both arriving from the west. One to land at Idlewild, the other bound for LaGuardia Field. Normally, they would have been separated by miles, but apparently the jet was 11 miles from where it should have been, straying into the flight path of the other plane with catastrophic results. To the fiery havoc in Brooklyn, the crash of the other plane on Staten Island adds another bitter toll. Here, too, all aboard the ill-fated plane perish. Forty-four lives lost. Casualties on the ground were mercifully light. Both planes hit like fiery rockets and in the vicinity of crowded schools. Many of the passengers were flying on Christmas visits, carrying gifts for loved ones. Afterwards, the grisliest job was the effort to identify the broken remains of those who perished. Horror added to horror, shockingly emphasizing to the nation the terrible consequences of the aerial traffic jam in America's skies. 